Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to another recipe. Today, I have this bomb pot roast recipe for you guys. This recipe is so, so easy to put together, but let me tell you, the flavors are big, okay? Before I begin, if you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video for me if you enjoy, and let's dive into this recipe. All right guys, here's what you need to make today's recipe. I'm using beef broth, onion and garlic powder, ground black pepper, celery, salt, paprika, and also we have onion, carrot, celery, garlic, a little bit of soy sauce, Worcestershire sauce, tomato paste, a beef cube, I have thyme, um, rosemary, and some old, and some bay leaves. For the protein, I'm using London broil. First time using it, I will let you guys know later on in the video on how I like it. So to begin, we're going to season the beef. I am going to drizzle some olive oil on there. Then we're going to rub it in just like that. Flip it over and add some more olive oil, rub it in, and then we are ready to season. Like I said in the beginning, I'm using onion and garlic powder, ground black pepper, celery salt, a little bit of paprika to season the beef and make sure it's nicely coated with the seasoning. Then we are going to sear our beef. While I'm adding the seasoning, I am going to make sure to pat that down a little bit so the seasoning can be nice and stuck on there so it doesn't, once we are ready to sear the beef, the seasoning doesn't come off, okay? Flip it over, make sure you well season your beef, all right? Once I'm done seasoning the beef, it's time to sear it. I am going to grab a very, very extremely hot cast iron pour some olive oil in there and then I am going to place the beef right in. I'm going to allow that to get nice and a beautiful color. Once a beautiful color start coming on the side, I am going to flip it over, all right? Add some more oil and then we're going to flip it over until you have a nice golden brown color on the other side as well. Once that, it, mm, it's looking good. Once that is done, you're going to place it to your, whatever you like to use for your pot roast. I'm going to use this slow cooker. I am going to place that in there. Talking about slow cooker, I do have one that I wanna give away to you guys as a gift for Christmas. I have one, it's 17 quarts big. So it's pretty big. Um, if you guys interested, just leave a comment down below on basically anything about the, the recipe and I'll just pick someone and I'll ship it out to you guys. So yeah, go ahead and leave me a comment. You don't really have to do much. Oh, of course, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. But now, once I'm done searing the beef, I am going to use the same cast iron. I'm going to add a little bit of tomato paste in there. I'm going to sweat my veggies a bit so I can help the tomato paste fry a bit. I'm adding a little bit of that beef broth in there. Then you're going to grab the carrot and the celery, pour it to your slow cooker. All right, and then I'm going to be adding in the onions. And next I have lots and lots of, um, about six cloves of garlic. Make sure to smash them if you can, although they will be super, super soft once they're done cooking. So I'm going to add about four cups of beef broth in there. And this right there is some beef cubes, okay? Instead of chicken cubes or chicken bouillon cubes, we are using beef cubes. That right there is a little bit of Creole seasoning. And then we are going in with some herbs. I'm using rosemary, thyme, and I'm using some bay leaves. This is going to be so good. The thyme and the rosemary are going to add a nice herby 
flavor to this recipe, especially with dealing with beef. Trust me. Now I'm adding another cup of the beef broth. In total, I use five cups of beef broth. Now I'm going to cover this, allow it to simmer on low for about three to four hours, okay? This is about three to four hours later. Now you can strain the, the sauce if you like, but I was lazy, so I'm going to remove the stem of the, um, the rosemary and the thyme and basically my dish is ready this meat however i don't think i will use it again it's my first time using it i didn't really like the texture of it although it cooks really nicely as you can see it's literally shredding very nicely but i didn't like the texture so if you are making this dish i'm telling this is the perfect so flavorful a dish try it with um truck roast instead of london broil first time using this like i said i didn't know how it was gonna come out i have plenty other pot roast recipes on my channel if you looking for a different way to make pot roast i got you okay i have all of them on my channel i will leave them down below in the description box so check that out basically once i'm done shredding all of the meat, this is what you have once you're done. All right guys, let's give this pot roast a try. I've been waiting three hours, for three hours now, so let's give it a try. Looks so good. Mm. Oh my gosh. I know this was about to be so good. Mm. OMG. The beef, so tender. Okay, so tender, so flavorful. All you need is a side of mash and you're good to go. Hopefully you try this out. Do not forget to leave a like for me if you enjoyed today's recipe. Also, subscribe if you're new here. Leave me a comment down below how do you make your pot roast, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.